Welcome. This video is the first in a series which introduces Axes, Lanza's modernization tool that automatically transforms RPG and COBOL applications into web applications without having to change a single line of code. Part 1. Install. With Axes, we can take an IBM I application and very quickly web enabling it. This is done on the fly and requires very little effort. This is an example of what a screen looks like out of the box when Axes is initially installed. Nothing has been done to the screen. Using Axes web-based development tool, you can take the screen further and enhance it by adding a set of global rules that apply across the entire application. Even add new functionality to specific screens, such as data tables, charts, and maps. So in this first video, we will be looking at what Axie screens look like out of the box, with no global rules or screen customizations. So what does a basic AXI screen look like? Let's first start by looking at the 5250 application itself. So here I have my terminal emulation. And I'm just going to log in, go through my menu system, to go to where I need to do some work. Now, for the purpose of the demo, we use a fictitious company called the Lanza Tool Company. This is a company that sells tools online, and we've got many aspects to the demo system, but I'm really focusing on the back office systems because I want to enable those for the web. I'm looking at the work with customers. We have a position two, so this is our subfile with a position two. Enter, and then can tap down to my subfile options. So let's go to Lanzamart, and I can see the details. If I press an F4, You'll see the pop-up and enter. I can then do an enter to return to the subfile and again tab down to see the other information. So in this case, let's have a look at the address information. And these are the screens that we're going to be looking at web enabling. So this is what we want to show you what these Axie screens look like out of the box. So for that, I'm going to open up a browser session. This is running directly from my IBM I, so everything I do is installed on the IBM I and runs directly from there. I log in, program break message. So this is the default styling, is the default rendering. All the function keys that were at the bottom of the page have been converted into buttons, and they're clickable buttons. So I can just mouse over those. We have a title, we have options to allow us to change the themes. So if we've got any specific themes that have been defined. My text or my menu text has been converted to hyperlinks. So now I just need to mouse over and you'll see the pointer changes to a hand. Select and we go on to the next menu. I can still type in the menu option and enter. Here we have our work with customers. And now we see the subfile. Our position two is in the title at the top there. And again, it works in the exact same way. We don't require you to make any changes to your backend code. All the conversion for the 5250 screens to HTML is done on the fly. So we can convert those as, as we go through. So now I've done the position two. The subfile options have disappeared because now if I go to the subfile select and click, I now have a pop-up with those subfiles options on. So Axis had automatically identified those and added them as a pop-up to the subfile select. So I can go to that one, look at the details. This is my details screen now. And again, I can do an F4. We can have a look at the discounts. I can double click to, to um, select and then press enter to make a change. I can then go back in and look at the address information. Again, these are just examples of your default rendering. 
That concludes part one. Join me in part two, where we will look at how global rules can be used to style the entire application.